Let me ask you a question. Have you ever thought about being part of a research study? I have. I actually thought yeah, it would be too. a cool thing to do. And they're apparently they're ongoing at UConn Health. They cover all kinds of medical topics. Uh, UConn Center on Aging has studies also just for seniors. Melissa Cole visited the center to learn more. Take a look. Rita Agawal of Weathersfield participated in a recent flu vaccine research study at the Center on Aging at UConn Health. I says that's terrific because we all get the flu at one time or the other and um, it was very successful. One of the studies that we've been doing for many years here is related to influenza vaccine and immunity and the immune response as it relates to aging. So we know that as we age the immune system may decline and is more prevalent to decline to respond to infections such as the flu. Lisa PC, Recruitment and Community Engagement Corps Manager at UConn Center on Aging, says the influenza vaccine trial monitors seniors throughout several flu seasons. Each season, they receive a different FDA-approved vaccine. I never got the flu. Hmm. I, I, was, I was perfect. I was perfect. And... Uh, um, I was, you know, I was happy to make that contribution. Yeah, why does it make you feel good to do something like that? Well, because, you know, it's my small way of contributing to society to make a difference. Recently, the Center on Aging received a great recognition. The Center on Aging was recently awarded a Pepper Center grant, and the full title of that is the Claude Pepper Older Americans Independence Center. Um, it is in honor of the late Senator Claude Pepper, who was an advocate for older um, adults' health outcomes. UConn Center on Aging is one of just 15 centers to be awarded this Pepper Center grant, which will enhance the work they are doing in age-related research. Ongoing research projects include cardiovascular disease, dementia, depression, COVID studies, and the list goes on. Alba Sihara, clinical research assistant at the Center on Aging, finds people to be part of these studies. As a research coordinator here at the Center on Aging, I'm pretty much um, in charge of inviting older adults into our studies. Um, I screen them to see if they're eligible to participate in our studies um, and just to make sure that they are actually a fit for the study. Participants range from seniors out in the community to those in assisted living or nursing homes. Some seniors find out about opportunities through health fairs. Once they are in a study, sometimes age-related issues come up and those things are addressed and fixed with the help of this center. You know, they have social isolation, loneliness, um, inability to um, purchase their medications, uh, lack of transportation lack of um, nutritional resources. So at that point, I come in and I help the family members, I help the participants find these resources. It's a very diverse population. What a 65-year-old might present with, an 80-year-old might be very different. So we can't say that, oh, an older adult is gonna have this kind of health outcome. So what we like to focus on is the patient-centered model and uh, the focus of the Pepper Center for us and our theme is precision medicine in older adult care. So treating each older adult as an individual patient and finding out how we can best add years to their life and age successfully. Rita plans on taking part in more studies in the future. The girls' personalities are extremely loving, but beyond that, they're very capable. I know I'm in good hands, and they're selfless, and that makes me feel good. It does make me, you know the phrase, feel good? That's how I feel every time I, you know, I have an appointment with them. When I leave, I feel the joy following me, and that's because I'm making a contribution you are contributing to this population, the older population. It's not just for the older population, but for future populations. And um, you are definitely contributing to science. And it is something that is really needed still. Very good. All right, if you're interested in participating in an upcoming study, you can contact the Center on Aging at UConn Health. Their website is health.uconn.edu backslash aging.